oh my gosh, we could mess around. <laughs> that seems really messed up because I think, oh no, we could use Emmy's room. No, we can't. The only bedroom we could mess around in in this game is Luna's bedroom. Can parents walk in on that? There, basic witches coffee here and today we are playing the lunar zodiac challenge and i'm excited as always <laughs> because i think i've kind of decided you guys that with this challenge i said this at the end of the last cake up that we're a little bit more focused right now on the first gen of kids which would be aries taurus gemini and cancer and cancer is the only one we have left in the house so Basically, we're going to be a little bit more hard focused on her until we can get her out of the house. And her mission is only just about to start. So I probably will play quite a bit of it off camera, but we gonna do it anyway. So uh, let me go ahead and let's just pop in. You know what I'm saying? So uh, here we have the wonderful, wonderful Cora. She here with us. I Honestly, I think Cora is my favorite child. Like Emmy was the first favorite and it's because she's a cancer. You guys know how I feel about cancer. Answers. We stand. But uh, Cora, let me pull this up for you guys so you can see. Actually, I don't know if my camera's in the way it might be. But basically, if we scroll down here, Cora is finally at an A grade. So we can age her up. Um, how's Lorelai doing? I don't think Lorelai got bumped at all in grades. So let's take a look. Nope, she's still a C student, but she is definitely well on her way. I'm gonna go ahead and have Lorelai start doing her homework and then also place this in the world. We'll have her work on that project. But right now we're really gonna focus on Cora. So I'm gonna have Luna wake up from her nap real quick and we are going to make her a little birthday cake. And then we're also, we're gonna age her up, but we're also going to age up uh, Alexander because it would be really weird. Like she's a teenager, he's an adult. Not that that's weird, obviously. I mean, shoot, I think my parents got married. Well, I think they were both teenagers. I think they were 18 and 19, but like teenagers get married all the time. Not a huge deal. Um, and relationships are just like that. Age is just a number, but like obviously be mature. You guys know what I'm saying, but uh, where was I going with that thought? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just lost it. Um, oh, I want them to be adults so I can have all those sim interactions. A lot of you guys in the comments were like, let her have like a teen pregnancy and have Alexander run away from her. Like guys, that is the most uncancer thing that would happen. Um, if you know more about cancer, that is the most, like I'm not saying that doesn't happen to cancers, but in this series being kind of as stereotypical as possible, that's just something that like doesn't even make sense in the realm of cancer. Uh, because they are so truly loving at their core and loving of family, they are like the sign of family, in my opinion, because they are like that, once they fall in love with somebody, they're not going to be so like hell pressed, easy to let them go. So that's what I mean when I say that. <laughs> okay, so Luna's going to go ahead and make this winter cake. I've actually never made this cake before. Oops. So I'm kind of excited to see what that means. And thankfully, you guys, even if Luna has another baby, so Cancer's mission is to get married and have two children. So what we're going to do is... Cora and Alexander are going to get married. Like that's a given. They're getting married. They're probably going to get engaged today. If I'm honest with you, they will get married, but Alexander is not going to live with Cora right away. Um, we're going to have Cora stay here and birth the two kids because I feel like that's fair. Like I shouldn't just send her off. You know, that wouldn't be completing the challenge. You guys can choose to do this however you want to in your own series. You could even move Cora out and play with her on your own time or your cancer, you know, however you choose to do it. I'm going to leave her on the lot though, so I can monitor her. Can I put birthday stuff on this? Okay. I think I can. Um, whatever you guys choose to do with how you choose to do it, just know that you need to like be present to help with the kids. Basically this cake is gorgeous. Hello. Let me look at this. Hold the phone. Oh my God. I want to eat this cake. Holy. Can't I like do stuff to make it look even better too? Or is that give serving to Vivine? No. I thought maybe you could, but never mind. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add some birthday candles to it. 
and I don't think we know Alexander, so we can't call him over, but she can. So let's go to her relationships. Let's go, let's say, invite to hang out on current lot. We have MC Command Center, so if he refuses to age up with this cake, we will age him up in cheating. So, um, all right. Why is my game being so crazy right now? Oh my gosh, we could mess around. <laughs> that seems really messed up because I think, oh no, we could use Emmy's room. No, we can't. The only bedroom we could mess around in in this game is Luna's bedroom. Can parents walk in on that? Like, how does that work? <gasps> in her mom's bed. This is so wrong, it's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess... Okay, let's pause this. We're gonna go downstairs. Pray that nobody touched this cake. Sorry, I thought there was a piece missing and I was like, but why? Uh, hold on, remove candles. Aw, that was cute. All right. I really wanna, ooh, that's a, that's a, that's a look, honey. That is a look. I'm gonna have to photograph that one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. This is fine. She cute. Yay, everybody, agent up. Oh my gosh, the adult cake up is coming for Cora. Okay, so we have, why? Oh, gloomy was a part of this. Okay, it was like gloomy and then we need family oriented. Ah, guys, I can't wait till you see what I've been working on. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to give anything else away, but I can't wait until you see what I've been working on. Um, okay. Everybody be sending presents. Thanks so much. <sighs> okay. Um, how's the weather? Is it snowing? Oh, I wish it was snowing. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... Okay. Oh, they're adults. They can woohoo. <gasps> I forgot about that. Sorry. Um, I really want them to get married first just because that seems like something cancer would really want. Um, even though I could start this right now, I'm not going to. Uh, Alexander technically could move in with us, but that would hinder us from being able to bring the Libra baby in. So I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get in. I just want to bring Alexander out here. And once she's in, she can call him over. So, um... Let's, can't we say like, invite to stay the night? No. Um, can't we ask someone to join us? Hold on. Why am I being ridiculous right now? Why? I think it's like, oh, did he just drop trash? Boy. Jeez. Okay. Friendly. So let's say propose. What if he says no? I'm scared. <laughs> He's not non-committal, so he better not freaking say no. I will be more than bugged. Okay, he said yes. Ooh, I was a little bit worried there for a second. I was like, don't you freaking dare. Nah, he said yes. It's cool. Yay! Make out with that boy. Um, okay, so we're not going to elope, even though that's something that I feel like she would do. Um, is like, yes, I just want to be married now. But no, we're not going to do that right this minute. Um, uh, probably in the next episode, to be honest, we will focus on that. We will focus on... Um, we will focus on Cora's wedding. We'll probably do a wedding makeover. We'll do all of that because I feel like aside from the Gemini twins, we've kind of done a wedding for everyone. So I do want to make sure we do that. I'm thinking we might just do a backyard wedding. Let me know what you guys think down below about that because I'm not 100% sure. But I think we are actually going to cut the episode off here, uh, mostly because I do need to start making a lot of advancements in this series because I want to move on to that next group of kids. And I know a lot of you guys are waiting on those signs and we've spent so much time with the first four I'm genuinely ready for that next 
batch of kids. So um, let me know down below what you hope to see next. I would really appreciate that. And please, you guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at CoffeeYT and over on Twitch where I stream or I try to stream at least once a week. Also, I have a secondary brand called Cozy Kale. There's a website, there's a YouTube channel, there's a podcast that is coming, I think like next week, possibly. Um, it's already all set to go. It's January 30th. Um, there's a podcast coming and I feel like I'm forgetting something, but there's all kinds of stuff attached to that. Uh, lots of cool things, a different side of my life that maybe you don't see all the time. And also a podcast that I run with my twin flame. It's called Twin Flames. It is about bettering your life, kind of getting a new perspective from a psychological level as well as a spiritual level because I'm a practicing witch. My husband, or my husband, <laughs> no, it's not my husband. My twin flame is a practicing therapist trainee in her master's program right now. So it's kind of like our forces combined teaching you guys how to shift the perspective in your life and lead your best life. So if you want to see that, we're currently available on 10 platforms. All of the links are going to be down below for you guys. And I will see you on Monday for another video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye you guys.